so that we can get on parade. Okay. Hi, my name is Terry Wright. I'm here today with Tony Sincotta, his son Stephen, and his grandson Michael Adams. They're here today to honor the men and women who have lost their lives in battle, but they're also here today to honor Tony. Today was Tony's 50th time marching in the Memorial Day Parade, and we want to thank him for his service and for his dedication to this particular day. Tony, for years you've been doing this. You've been getting up on Memorial Day, preparing yourself, putting on your uniform. What is the one thing that you wish for every time you do this? That it doesn't rain on our parade. <laughs> Fair enough. That's a good one on this one. Okay. Um, what would you like our viewers to know about Memorial Day? What is the, the importance of this day to you? It's a day of remembrance. As I've said many times, it's not Halloween. It's not Fourth of July. It's not just the Indianapolis 500. It's not just a barbecue or a car sales. It's a day of remembrance. And not just for those who are buried in hallowed ground, but please think of the gold star mothers who sacrificed their sons and daughters for the United States of America. Thank you very much. American Legion Post number 79 was chartered January 9th, 1920. They have been and will continue to be a cherished organization in our community. Can you tell us what year you joined the Legion and which years you served as commander? Well, I served as, com uh, I served as commander for a long period of time because nobody else wanted to do it. Uh, I can't really tell you how many years. I think it was close to 20. Uh, but the American Legion has been an integral part of Berwick and for the community. We believe in community service. And, and, and we will continue to do that. And the town's been very good to the post. So all in all, it's been a good relationship. Can you tell us your years of service, where you served, and your rank? Well, I started like everybody does as a nothing, <laughs> as a private. And I retired as a command sergeant major. Very fortunate. Not that I was the sharpest guy to come down the pike, because I wasn't. I just happened to be at the right place at the right time. I served a tour in Germany. I served a tour in the Panama Canal Zone. And I served two years in Vietnam. And during the Korean War, I served in Japan. Well, that's quite the service record. You've obviously visited many places. Is there any one place that you would wish to return to? And can you tell us why? The place is Berwick. My roots are here. It's been a good town. So after traveling all over the world like I did a couple of times, I always wanted to come back to Berwick. Well, we're glad you did. We're very glad you did. Stephen, thanks to you, we actually are getting get together today. Um, can you please share your rank, years of service and location, sir? Yeah, so I, I was uh, commissioned in the Navy in 1989 after graduating from the University of Maine after four years uh, after uh, graduating from Noble High School right here in Baruch, Maine. And uh, I've been with the uh, submarine service for 28 years, USS Michigan, USS Rhode Island, commissioned down the road, USS Nevada, USS Annapolis, actually spent some time at the Portsmouth Naval Shipyard. Uh, various short tours, and uh, I retired after 28 years back in 2017. Wonderful. Thank you very much. You reached out to BCTV to see if we would cover this event, and more specifically, if we would be interested in your story. What was it you wanted our viewers to know about your father? I just considered 50 years to be a fairly significant milestone. And uh, though he wanted absolutely nothing to do with this, um, I thought it was appropriate to, to take a moment and, and recognize uh, 50 years of of devoted service to the community and to, to the small main town that I'm so, so fond of and always will consider to be my roots. 
So you have obviously attended many Memorial Day services, and we all know that as a child we view it very differently. What does Memorial Day mean to you now? Well, it makes me reflect back to my childhood here, growing up in, in Berwick, Maine. And it marked the beginning of the summer, as much as uh, Jerry Lewis and the telethon marked the end of the summer on Labor Day. But Memorial Day was sort of my dad's day. And growing up being so proud of my dad, and uh, obviously following into a line of service that was very much uh, influenced by him. And that's what Memorial Day means to me. Thank you. Michael, can you share with our viewers your rank, years of service, and locations served? Sure. Uh, I am not retired. I did six years in the Maine Army National Guard. Uh, one of I had one tour to Afghanistan for nine months in 2013. Okay. Well, thank you for your service. You obviously felt that today was a very important milestone for your grandfather's life. Can you explain to our viewers why you see this as such an important day? I see it as important because I think as time goes on in this country, um, generations may start to forget, and my grandfather's made it very important that we do what we can so that everyone is remembered for uh, especially the ultimate sacrifices that men and women have made for our country. What is something that you would like our viewers to know about your grandfather? Uh, that he is still as sharp as he was when he was an 18-year-old man. And um, I enjoy talking to him every day on the phone. I call him on my way home from work, and we chat about our days. <laughs> That's fantastic. I'd like to thank all three of you for your service and for stopping by BCTV today um, and for honoring all of those that we have lost in battle. Um, as you say, this is a very important day. It is one that we will always celebrate and we will always remember. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Good morning. North Burke American Legion Post 87 is here today to honor a military veteran not only served his uh, country courageously, but also his local communities. I am First Sergeant Don Boper, United States Army retired, also the post commander of the North Burke American, Lincoln, uh, American Legion Post 87. Command Side Major Anthony Sincata, please come to the podium. Tony, if I may call you Tony, we have, you have helped Post 87 lead our Memorial Day Parade have taken a vital role during our ceremony on how many years have been now? 20 what? 50, years? 50, 50 years? <laughs> because of that, we want to present you with this special award as a token of our appreciation. Hold on, I'm not done yet. <laughs> I'm not used to the microphone. I want to make sure I get this right so I've got uh, notes. <laughs> this special award is presented to Command Sergeant Major Anthony Sincata, United States Army Retreats and Ceremonies. Presented by the American Legion Post 87, North Burke, Maine. Tony, we wanted to give you this award last year but couldn't because of the uh, COVID-19. We wanted to do it this year but during the circumstances and our members were so anxious to give this, to, uh, this award to Tony, we decided to come over here and give it to him. We look forward to working with you and for many more years, Tony. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.